My name is Madison. I'm the PR manager here at Master of Project Academy. Master of Project Academy has helped more than 50,000 professionals in more than 180 countries pass their PMP certification exam. We're thrilled to share that our students have a 99.6% pass rate on their first exam attempt. If you're considering taking the PMP exam, I'm here to answer some of your most frequently asked questions. In case we aren't able to answer all of your questions through our video FAQ, please send an email to our support team, info at masteropproject.com, and we'll get you the answer you need. So number one, do I need the PMP certification? What is the value of the PMP certification? PMP is the abbreviation of Project Management Professional, and it's the world's most reputable project management title. The PMP certification is awarded to professionals who pass an exam consisting of 200 questions. There are more than 1 million certified PMPs around the world and counting. Currently, successful corporate organizations, especially the Fortune 500 companies, look for project management candidates with a PMP certification. This achievement demonstrates that the professional has both theoretical knowledge and practical experience. Also, fun fact, a survey conducted by Indeed.com states that certified PMPs earn on average 20% more than their uncertified peers. That's not too bad. Number two, am I eligible for a PMP certification exam? A PMP certification has three basic requirements that pertain to your education level, project management experience, and project management training. If you've earned a bachelor's degree, and have more than 4,500 hours of project experience, you'll be eligible to take the exam. We did the math and 4,500 working hours equate to approximately three years of experience. If your education level is below a bachelor's degree, you must have 7,500 hours of project experience to be eligible to take the exam. 7,500 hours equate to approximately five years of work experience. No matter your educational background, you must earn at least 35 contact project management education hours. To earn those, you can enroll in our PMP training to meet this requirement. Number three, how can I apply for the PMP certification exam? Well, there are three methods for applying for the PMP certification exam. An online app application, a paper application, or through your training provider. The fastest and recommended way is to apply online. It's easy. Visit PMI.org and create your profile. After you've created your profile, you'll see the certifications required by PMI, the Project Management Institute, to apply. Select the PMP certification and follow their instructions. They'll ask you to share some details about your education, work experience, project experience, etc. After you submit your application, PMI will review, and within five business days, they'll come back to you with three possible outcomes. The first outcome would be that they confirm you're eligible to take the exam, and the next step is simply to schedule it. Number two, PMI might ask you to provide additional documents requiring, regarding your work experience or educational background. PMI audits PMP applications randomly and may ask for the, these documents. Don't take it personally, it's just a part of their process. Be sure to send the required documents to PMI via mail and within 90 days, they'll review and then approve that you've passed the audit. And finally, number three, if your application is rejected, PMI will give you more information on why it was denied and then you can plan to reapply in the future. Number four, how much does the PMP certification cost? The PMP exam fee is $555 for non-PMI members, and it's $405 for PMI members. PMI membership is around $140 per year. Our recommendation is that you become a PMI member and apply for the PMP exam as a member. By joining the PMI, your exam will pay for itself. Bonus, as a PMI member, you'll also have access to valuable resources for free for one year. This access includes, includes PMBOK as well. Please note to earn your required training hours, there, hours, there is an additional cost. 
The cost of the PMP training varies depending on the method of learning as well as the country. Number five, how should I study for the PMP exam? How can I prepare my study plan? Well, after helping more than 50,000 worldwide professionals, we prepared a seven-step PMP study plan for you. If you follow these steps, you will double your chances of passing the exam with flying colors on your first attempt. Number one, determine the target date you will take the PMP exam. This will help you prioritize and arrange the lesson plan to ensure you're ready come exam day. Number two, develop a study schedule after you set your exam date. Plan which sections you will complete and when. Be sure to allow time for days off, holidays, etc. Number three, take diligent notes while you study. The PMP certification process is a long journey and you'll keep coming back to these notes and they'll be essential in retaining information throughout the study process. Number four, practice, practice, practice. There are so many practice questions available to you via online, peer study groups, and training provider resources, just like Master of Project Academy. Number five, spend time reviewing your incorrect answers. If you find a particular section difficult, make sure you revisit the material and retake the quizzes when necessary. Number six, go through your notes frequently. The PMP certification, as we said, it's a, it's a long one. So every two weeks, take an hour to go through the section notes you've already taken. This will help you retain all of the material better. Number seven, take the exam and earn the certification. If you follow steps one through six, you should be ready to ace the exam. Be sure to get enough sleep before exam day and be confident you got this. You can read more about the guidelines of each step in our PMP study plan post. Number six, how should I choose my PMP training program? As I mentioned, in order to take the exam, you must earn at least 35 contact project management education hours. There are two options for attending a PMP training. You can attend a training in a physical classroom or online. If you choose to get your training in the classroom, this is an intensive four to five day process that allows you to learn a huge amount of material in a short amount of time. We feel online trainings are more convenient for the majority of PMP candidates. Students are able to follow the lectures on their own time and can fit the training into their own schedule. If a student doesn't fully understand a topic, they have full access to all materials and can learn at their own pace. Our online PMP training is also available as a resource and we're readily available to answer students' questions promptly. Additionally, online PMP training programs are around three times more affordable than the regular classroom courses. Be careful when choosing your online PMP training provider. Some project management courses are pretty basic, so be sure to do your research and ensure that they are up to standard and cover the PMBOK content fully. Number seven, how can I access sample PMP questions? Most PMP training organizations offer do dozens of sample questions. Here at Master of Project Academy, we offer more than 1,000 PMP exam questions. By enrolling in the training course, you'll have full access to these. The questions are prepared by project management experts who know the PMBOK content and the exam like the back of their hand. Also, if you didn't know, the PMI uses a randomized PMP question pool to distribute more than 200 questions to each candidate. Once they select the questions, the candidate has four hours to complete the exam. Number eight, can I study for the PMP exam on my own? Absolutely. You can get ready for the PMP exam today if you want it. You can enroll in an online PMP training and you can follow the seven steps we outlined in our PMP study plan post. If after you prepared your PMP study plan, with the help of our online training, you'll be able to pass your exam in your first attempt. Number nine, can I take, take the PMP exam online? As of now, the only method for taking the PMP exam is through a Prometric test center. As soon as your application is approved by PMI, you can then schedule to take your exam at an approved location near you. We recommend you schedule your exam at least one month in advance. Whew. So those are our nine frequently asked questions. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn more about the PMP process as well as Master of Project Academy. We wish you the best of luck on the PMP certification journey.